Hi everyone, this is Amanda. Thank you for tuning into my channel today. I have, um, have some cards here that I've made and using the Simple Stories uh, Vintage Bliss line. Um, I really love these and I thought the best way to really kind of, um, I would say, add a little extra something to these would be to bring out the Wink of Stella glitter pen and see if I can add some glitter to them or some, you know, some sparkle because I do really like them and I want to see if I can make them kind of pop a little bit more. So this is the Wink of Stella brush. I did a haul on this not too long ago and it was included in some of my Michael stuff and I'll link that video below. And um, I had a really hard time opening it, figuring it out, so I had to research it and figure out how to use it. And then some people also helped me. There's like a band here that had to come off. The only thing, I have tried this since I hauled it. The only thing I'm still having trouble with is controlling the amount of glitter that comes out. So we'll see if we can kind of master that today. I might take a little piece of scratch paper and um, start off with, but I wanted to see how it would look if I added some um, glitter to these cards that I've made. So let's get started. Let's, I'm, I've got a piece of scrap paper here and I'm just gonna kind of like, just see if this is gonna come out nice and smooth. And let's see if you can see that it kind of is, has a shimmer to it. So let's see, this is the first card. And where do I wanna add some shimmer? I think we'll start with maybe some of the butterfly here, which I'm not sure if you can see that too well in the picture, but I can see it here. Um, and then we'll put a little bit on the flowers. There's also a different and then this butterfly. There's a, some different glitter pens out there now. Wink of Stella, I think, has been out for a little bit, since, even though I didn't know about it. Um, but I think now there's like Nuvo has one out that I might try as well. So that's that. The, I can see it sparkle here. I'm just not so sure how it's gonna show up on the camera. So let's get, I'll set that aside. Um, I don't know if I want to add anything to this one here. I'm not sure where it would, maybe I could just add, oh, you know what? Let's do it to the cutouts because that'll just add a little something that you wouldn't be, able, you wouldn't normally be expecting it. So there's that. Oh yeah, that looks good. Um, this one is bliss and it says h is for happy so i want to add some glitter to the letters do you i don't know if i need to squeeze out anymore or if it just does it automatically i don't know i can see it fine here it's just i don't know how it's going to turn out there for you So far, these this is all looking really cute. So that's nice and glittery. Cool. And I'm just going to see if this is still coming out, okay? I'm going to squeeze it just a little. I'm going to push just a little. And then get a little bit more coming through. Okay. I think I got some. All right. Now, showered with love. I love this card because it has the boots and it's kind of, you know, three dimensional. It's all pop up. And then I cut out the umbrella to put on top of there, too. So let's see about adding the glitter to the rain. And I just have a very light, I'm doing this very lightly. I'm like not 
holding the pen very hard or anything just very lightly and it's adding just a shimmer where the rain is it's really nice if I take it like that I'm not sure if you can see it a little bit better and I think it probably could use a little bit more over here yeah and how about if we just do a couple little splotches this will kind of give the impression of raindrops but you won't really see any drops you'll just see some glitter that's cute okay next we have spread your wings and fly which I think we will do the antennas here and then do around the butterfly I like the way they use the hearts here this is one of my favorite patterns with um, sim from simple stories if you saw one of my videos I did not too long ago with um, the docket journals from simple stories and then how to ap apply planner decals um, one of the lines there the domestic bliss reminds me very much of this vintage bliss pattern I I probably interchange them word wise all the time but this is vintage bliss and that one is um, domestic bliss so and I can link that one below too so here we go let's just add a little bit of glitter to the letters as well because they're very matte finish and I think that looks nice and let's see if we need to put a little bit more glitter okay that one hello this is a very busy card and let's see where do we want to put some glitter here maybe on the letters hopefully it'll stick because these are um, chipboard and I see a little bit of shine but I don't see much glitter happening there let's let's get it going a little bit more maybe I have a tendency to dollop the glitter and I don't want to do that well, let's try this I can see shine, I'm just not seeing much glitter. I like the shine too, but I'm disappointed I can't see any glitter on these chipboard words. And then hello. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I put some glitter out on here and I wanted to see if I could add it that way. Yep, yeah, there we go. Let's add a little bit more. I know this isn't the way you're supposed to use it, but I do like the way um, I can get more glitter on the card if I do it this way. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. That's good. Now hopefully you can see this because it has a lot more glitter on it. Oh, and if you turn around, this is gorgeous. This is just exactly what this card needed. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. So I will set that aside. And I think I'm going to pull this one out a little bit. And I'm going to take some of this glitter here. And add more to the fly. Perfect. 
Perfect. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. So let's see, where do we want some glitter on this one? How about we just do the whole umbrella glittery? That'll be nice and pretty. And heck, why not do the cloud too? Voila. Not as much glitter, so maybe let me get a little bit more out. I just squeeze it and like a little, little bits come out. Perfect. Okay, so these are the cards I made with the Wink of Stella, using the Wink of Stella. This one has the raindrops and the shimmery rain. I can't really stack these very well because they've got the wet glitter. Put those like that. And then we have Spread Your Wings and Fly. The Hello, which may end up being my favorite favorite. I'm going to move that out of the way. And then this one that says hello with just a little bit of glitter on the butterflies and the flowers. This one has a little bit of glitter in the empty spaces. And then the last one that says bliss has glitter on the bliss letters. So these are my cards that I made using the Simple Stories Vintage Bliss um, paper line and then how I used the Wink of Stella on the cards. And a little trick, as we saw, is if you cannot get the Wink of Stella to come out as much as you like, dollop a little bit on a piece of paper and move it over. And it probably would be better, like this is cardstock, so it absorbed the glitter glue so it might even work better if you use like um, a piece of wax paper or a craft mat or something like that where it wouldn't absorb and you could use more of that glitter so there's that and then also um, I made a, a first bunch of cards when I was testing the Wink of Stella and I'll bring these out for you to look at too to show you um, these are just some simple cards I made when I was testing everything and this is the cause for celebration. It has some of the glitter there. And then this one is one year older. And it has the hair and the flowers are all glittery. Um, another one. Um, this one is surprise. And I love this one because I just made the dots glittery. And one of my favorites, my very, 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 very favorite is this one because, and as again, I'm not sure how it's showing up in the video, but all the bubbles are glittery, like little glittery bubbles. And it's so, so cute. And then I did one more. Yeah, one more. And this is a birthday bash with little dogs. And the poodle, the hair is all, the fur is all glittery. And then so is the dog's body there. And then this cute little tiny, adorable cat that looks a little bit like a ragamuffin that just makes you want to take him home and he's got the whiskers and the tail and the fur all glittery so anyway that is how you use the wink of stella on your cards and i hope you found this video informational hopefully you liked it so i'll talk to you later guys bye bye